Hi class, welcome to week 11 and 12. Um, so you should have your lesson plans in by midnight tonight. And once you have received approval, you'll be implementing your lesson, um, your technology integration lesson, this week or next, just sometime before Thanksgiving, if you're in practicum. If you're not, then you're planning on teaching kids during Thanksgiving, that's fine. Um, but before Tuesday following Thanksgiving break, um, you should have implemented your lesson and created a Google presentation about your lesson. So here are the details. As you implement your lesson, make sure that you're taking digital photos or, or screenshots to show the flow of your lesson. So kind of like what you did with your science challenge, except you're actually doing it in a real classroom or with real kids this time. Um, the photos should include students using the technology or you teaching with it um, if you can take photos. Now keep in mind for privacy purposes you can use Picnic to blur those photos like blur the faces of the students or the kids. Um, you also want to make sure you take pictures, digital photos of your of the learning environment and the technology that was available and that you used. Um, you'll be reading this article and reflecting that, that on that later in your presentation as well. Um, here's your guidelines for the presentation. Make sure that you read these things carefully. Um, one of the main things that to, to note is that the presentation is like a slideshow that has images, not a lot of text. So if you think about like showing a PowerPoint presentation to somebody or to an audience, you're going to have a lot of images on it and you will be doing the you'll be doing the talking. Now your talking is going to be doing be done in speaker notes rather than audio narration. So speaker notes are text that you would um, that you would describe orally if you were, you know, presenting this live. So <clears throat> here are just some tutorials on how to compress photos if yours are too large. Your presentation should have at least five slides and these are guidelines for each of those slides. Make sure you read each of the criteria carefully. The first slide is the only one that won't have speaker notes. It's just your title page. Um, and then you're going to describe your teaching environment. So this slide should have at least one picture of your teaching environment. Um, the speaker notes should include how many students you taught, the grade, um, the standard, the technology you used. Um, and it should also include, um, so th those are, again, those are the speaker notes. And then the slideshow itself should have these photos on it. So there's a tutorial down here, right here, um, about how to put speaker notes into your Google presentation. So you'll make you'll want to make sure you watch that. Again, the text is mainly going to be in your speaker notes, not on your slide. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go through each of these, but make sure that you just follow carefully what should be on the various slides. And again, I can't emphasize enough that there should not be a lot of text on your pages. This template down here will be helpful to you. Um, in order to get into it and use it, you're going to actually open it in a new window by clicking there. And then you'll select Actions and create a copy. Um, and then you can just follow these kind of guidelines as you go through. Again, each of the slides, as indicated a few, like several times, each of the slides doesn't have a lot of text. There, here's an example from last semester that could be helpful to you. Um, and then you're going to embed, not just create a link, but you're going to embed your presentation. Here's a tutorial on that. And submit your URL to Gradebook from your page and then there will be a video reflection. So hope that helps. Email me if you have questions. Have a great week.